So earlier this week, I talked to you about the live corner widgets in Adobe Illustrator. Now there's an issue that comes up when using them and I'm gonna show you how I go about fixing that issue. So like I said, this is one of my favorite features, use it all the time in my workflow. If you end up in a situation like this where you've rounded off corners and the readout starts to be red, it means that the corner would have intersected with itself and it won't let you go any further. Now, visually this path looks okay, and you would think that the result is exactly what I was going for. However, what's happened here is that you've ended up with two points stacked directly on top of one another. And that can be an issue when trying to modify the path or even work with it in different software suites. So I'd like to merge these two points together, and you would think that that's an easy thing to accomplish in Illustrator, and traditionally it would have been. If we had had a shape like this and we had moved a point manually on top of another one, we could have taken this path with that double point and used the Unite feature in the Pathfinder and it would have condensed it down into a single point. But because this was created with live corners, the Unite feature that worked over here will not work in this situation. You still get left with those overlapping points. One might also think that we could use the object path simplify feature. And while it technically did remove that point, it removed it completely. It didn't merge it back in together. And there was a visual change that happened in the path. So we'd like to be able to maintain this appearance while removing this double point. And the workaround that I found for this is to go object path offset path and to offset your path by just a fraction of a pixel. So it's not gonna be a visual change, but it will make it just a tiny bit larger. And then those two points have been merged. In this resulting path, it has remained selected, so we can hit Command X to cut it to our clipboard. And then we can delete the original path because we don't need that anymore, paste the new path back in on top, and we could take a look at this point now, which has been merged exactly how we wanted it. Now, occasionally some of the other points inside of the path will change. You'll, you might end up with an extra point that's plotted, but the double overlapping point, which can cause that issue will not be there anymore. So this is how I have cleaned up issues with overlapping points while using the live corner feature in Adobe Illustrator. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for checking it out.